Hi friends, welcome back to Excel map. So this is how just we can do some of these values by using the cell reference. By taking the cell reference, just we are doing some of the word values. And I want to go for the Excel also. Again, is equal to just you can select D4 plus D5 plus D6 like it is a somewhat lengthy way. Okay, instead of doing for every column, Simply you can drag it, otherwise you can do copy and paste the formula, look at there. Now we are getting some of the Excel, again copy and paste, look at that, 289. You can do somewhere else also, for example some values. So here just I can apply this formula for the cells also because we have same 5 cell references, just select copy and paste, look at there, 150. Just read it sum of all these 5 values, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This kind of things are called as uh, references and the references we are taking as a relative reference. Friends, uh, here there are two types of references are there. First one is relative reference and the second one is absolute reference. As of now, we used relative reference only. Just read it sum of this word and uh, some of this excel some of the powerpoint by using single formula only just uh, we are giving for the word only by doing copy and paste to the excel powerpoint as well as for this range also we are getting automatically some of the values because of the relative references okay simply just we call it as this kind of cells are called as relative references no need to type manually again and again so here also we can do is equal to just you can sum up these three values c4 plus c5 plus c6 this is also called as relative reference and press enter you can do copy and paste otherwise just simply you can drag or else double click autofill locate there so this kind of cell references are called what relative references so what is relative references exactly according to the data that cell references are going to change for example c4 d4 e4 coming to this next row it becomes c5 d5 e5 and next row it becomes c6 d6 a6 so here it is changing the row number and here it is changing the column okay c4 d4 and e4 that is called what relative reference but we'll use in some other case same this relative reference we'll see what will happen just i wanted to take the percentage of this so is equal to this uh, total 131 by divided by f9 okay total of word excel powerpoint divided by total of total then press enter okay no problem just we got 0 0.15 and uh, you can do copy paste or else you can drag also look at there just we got division by 0 paste paste okay or else simply just you can drag it look at there this time this uh, relative reference is not working what is the problem just listen carefully there I am taking the cell reference F4 divided by F9. Now, if you are coming to the next cell, it becomes F5. Okay, no problem. But here, it is selecting F10. In the F10, there is no data. It is a blank cell. Next cell, F6 by F11. So, what is that related reference? It is changing the either row number or column when you are going to the next cell. Here also same thing happened, F10, F11, F12 like that, but the data is there in the F9 only. I don't want to change the F9 cell data. I don't want to change the reference of the F9 also. In that scenarios, we'll go to the absolute reference. So what is absolute reference? Nothing but freezing the cell by adding the dollar symbol by giving the dollar symbol before the column and the row otherwise you can select the cell reference press f4 by default we'll get the dollar symbols dollar signs so that is called what absolute cell reference now you can drag it look at there now we'll see what is happening 
f4 by f9 still f5 by f9 f6 by f9 and the last cell also f9 by f9 okay that uh, cell reference it is not changing that f9 is not changing always uh, it is f9 only it was fixed why because just we freezed it by using f4 otherwise you can add the dollar symbol before the row and column that is called what absolute cell references if the cell reference is changing we are going to the next row or next column that is called relative reference and if the cell reference is not changing it will be fixed then it is called absolute cell reference this is the difference between relative and absolute cell references thank you friends for watching this video please subscribe our channel for more updates